Hi, Tarst. I'm glad you did that. Just reminded me to get my chat overlay up. You're helping. It is windy today. Much, much sweetie. Ended up standing outside in the sun for a while. I was still in the, in the shade, but like outside for like an hour. <sighs> the tire plate. Oh yeah, heat index 104. Whee! Ew. Temperatures like that should just be illegal, you know? How oh dare. Let's just ban high temperatures. If enough of us do it. then maybe it'll work. Okay. It's you, you're first. A lot. Okay. Oh, let's come over here. Where'd he go? Here. Hello. Hello. Hey, there you are. Hi, Dice. Hi, Stu. So, um, yeah. Late today for a different reason. Um, we went to go out after stream last night. And as soon as we the car started moving, it's like, what is that sound? And it felt fucking weird. We only drove like a couple of feet and Flint's like, that's a fucking flat tire. So we backed, got back into the driveway and uh, apparently, somehow, uh, we'd ran over a nail and it had punctured the tire. Like, the nail was, like, flush in the, 
the tire. So it hadn't been like recently put in there. We'd obviously driven over it somehow. So we had a can of fixer flight in the back, which got us to the, the gas station so we could pump it, the tire up full of air. But yeah, then today we had to go and get it sorted out. But as it turns out, the tire was actually separating. Like it was, the tread had split on part of the top, the top of the tire. So instead of paying $25 to get them to deal, fix the flat, which always works, um, we ended up having to drop a couple hundred to replace tires. So, but at least now we have two new tires on the back, nice and safe. We don't have to worry about that for a while. Um, but yeah, we had to like stand out in the, the egg. Hey, hey, it's Carter. I'm sorry I like her. It was like really, we go to this like tire shop down the road. Hi, boy, boy. Um, we go to this tire shop down the road. It's not like a, a franchise. It's just a, a little, uh, like a local business. All right, Ali. Yeah. Yeah, it, exactly. Like we wouldn't have bought it otherwise. I, the guy was actually really nice as well. Like a lot of times, you know, when you go in, they just like, they just talk to Flint, but they were actually including me. And he was like, here, let me show you. And he's like, if you rub, press your hand hard down and then like push so against, like if this is the width of the tire, he's like, if you push like that, you can actually feel like the tread, like, like peeling, like you would like, yeah. So he actually demonstrated to me and to Flint what the problem was, which I really appreciated. Like, it's just nice to be addressed, you know, especially in an automotive thing. So he's like, not entirely sure what went on there, but yeah, it was, it was nice. It doesn't, it probably doesn't seem like much to some people. And he brought out a chair for me to sit on, which was nice, but because it's a local business, it's like a little, <laughs> a little workshop with a little awning. And then it's just like sun and concrete and tires. So it was like really fucking hot there. But yes, now we have safe tires, which I am glad of, especially coming into hurricane season with all the the rain. Um, you want to be able to have you want have good tires so that you can have good braking. Yeah, so they weren't fancy high end tires, but that's fine. We're safe. So it's if it's not one thing, it's another. We've had a month of. Ah, shit. <laughs> With the crash and then the tires, but... But that's okay. You got a cereal restock? Oh my god, yes. Good job. Um... So, Dakota, are you still wanting to play with me? I know I'm like two hours and a bit late. I'm really sorry. I didn't know until like 3.30 that we were going anywhere. <laughs> um, and then, oh, we're done. Raisin nut brand, that sounds good. I have been writing lists. I have a list for Flint and a list of like notes, like bullet notes for the week, like the day the trash goes out and stuff. I can do some trucks. I can do a bit of trucking if you want. Hi, Luna. Yes. So I have a list of bullet points for Flint. I have. Oh, OK. I'm sorry we missed out on trucks today, Carter. Your trip. Is that your trip coming up to see me in Ohio? No, of course not. That would be a long... It is a big deal, because I like playing trucks with Carter. Um, But yeah, so I have a, a list of, like... It's not a honeydew list, 
because those things are patronizing uh or a spousy thing it's fine for me um but uh yeah so like a list of like what day the trash goes out like where the tools are for the lawnmower uh instructions for uh the washing machine because he hasn't used the new washing machine since we got it that sort of stuff and then a list for me you gotta get <laughs> very safe that's fire safe carter so Hi, Joel. How you doing? Um. So I've got a list of like. It's it's, it's a silly list. It's like got things on it like shoes. <laughs> but yes, I've. Right. Never, never the twain shall meet. There will be no twaining going on here. Hans has an injury. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. Okay. So, um, Oda's going to go do, do car stuff, truck stuff for himself, which is fine and valid. And good job taking care of your car, truck. Um, so what are we going to do today then? It is. Order. I mean, honestly, that's probably safe. Ali, <laughs> be a good put put, but you're always a good put put, aren't you? Isn't isn't that the thing? Like all the time. When when I saw that um that little frog gif thing that I sent you, as soon as I saw it, I on Flint's computer, I'm like, you have to send it to me because I'm like, this is what Pud looks like eating literally any snack food because Pud is so tiny small. Um, hang on, let me let me find it for you. You so are. All right, here we go. We got a window capture here. Oh, that's fine. No, that's not the right button. I can never remember which other uh, year. So I saw this and this, this, for those of you who don't know, this is what Pud looks like when Pud is trying to eat like a piece of cake or a cookie. It's true facts. <laughs> As soon as I saw it, I'm like, well, that's... <laughs> I gotta send that to Pud Pud. I don't do much on the Twitterverse anymore. But I, I watch... Uh, I watch over Flint's shoulder. <laughs> I believe it, but
So very accurate. Okay, so what what do we get? What's the plan? I didn't really have a plan. Um, you have a question? Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like particularly good with, I don't, I don't drive. Oh, just, <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Go. Ask away. They do like Formula One racing. <laughs> Of course, I look. I but I was raised on motorsports. Like, I don't know if you've heard of stock car racing. Um, <laughs> but you're never a bother. Um, so <laughs> I was, I was, I was basically raised around I'm I'm more interested in rally like I've been to multiple live rally events I haven't been to any Formula One race um I used to also enjoy V8 racing in New Zealand which is like Holden's versus Ford or what would the equivalent be here like Ford versus I don't know I think Holden's are sold as voxels here but I don't know um <laughs> things but but so what what would happen when I was little uh, we used to go to motorsports events so like bikes boats cars um and occasionally when I this is when I was like really little there would be times where I would be so fractious as a as a little one that they would go to a stock car race and the second I got there I would fall asleep to the sound of the cars like that was my lullaby Either that or I was high on diesel. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would I would go to sleep to the sound of the cars. Um, I love anything that goes fast. Uh, and yeah, so it's it's I'm not like hardcore into it, but I am interested. Like that, you know, you've seen me play the rally games. Um, when I lived in New Zealand. Uh, I had a few different friends that would that I'd go to like rally events with um like the sounds and the smells and the excitement that's that's my happy place right there love it you like it more wow pose um but yeah, I I get really into it, for sure. Uh, but all of like, so the names that I grew up with were like Sienna Cross, um, Nigel Mansell. Uh, they were just like household names. Um. Yeah, like LA and Pros. Just the the whole like the the mid to late eighties is when that kind of like cemented in my head. I love it. A friend of mine had his racing license. Um, and so back home, uh if you you had to have a to race on a, an official track, uh you had to have a special racing license, obviously to prove that you know how to drive safely. Uh, and so as a treat, he would like let me go around the track with him. So I'd just be sitting in the passenger seat, like giggling fucking maniacally, apparently, as he like went as fast as he could around this track. Like my friends said they always knew when I'd been out with Chris because I'd come home and I'd just be like flushed. Basically, I looked like I just had sex. But I was just like giddy from going fast and like feeling the g-forces so yeah I like I kind of like cars yeah so I, I get it <laughs> honestly 
Sex is great, but have you ever gone really fast around a racetrack? I tried to ask for that for Christmas for my from uh, for my birthday from Flint. Um, I wanted to go. Uh, Daytona have like a a thing where you can like basically go around the track with a driver on Daytona, which is you know not too far from us. But uh, he didn't pick up the hint. Oh god, put playing Forza would be... Amazing. Forza Horizon is really fun. Like... You know, hang on a second, I'm just gonna change it for Um... I, I, the, the hints I dropped to Flint would be where, hey, this is what I want for my birthday. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, but yeah, I love bikes as well. Just anything that goes fast. Anything that goes fast, I'm into. It's on. Yes, I mean fire can go fast. Um. It's on Game Pass, Pod Pod. I don't know if that's something that you could look at, but yeah, Forza Horizon is really fun. Um. So it's. It's not just um driving you have like quests to do which is done really well oh no now i kind of want to play um wsa you can i have a, i made a car that looked like a cow or I painted like a cow and then we had like a pumpkin we painted a v-dub to look like a pumpkin and then i did Dean and Jesse's car, and I put Kit on it. What do we reckon? Should we try try WSA? I'd have to download it again. I have a new controller to try. I'm not using the wheel. What is that? What is Proton? What is? Oh, it's anti-cheat stuff. Oh, no. Do I look bothered? Well, I don't know. You know, I actually have a couple of rally games in my inventory. WRC Generations. Oh, actually, the other question I had for you all is there was a bundle. Oh, what have I done? There was a bundle on Humble. Where is it? Yeah, can't find it. Maybe it's gone. There was a firefighting bundle, a sim bundle with firefighters. Oh, here we go. Uh, so a sim bundle and it had firefighting sim in here. And I was like, do we? <laughs> Oh, wait, how much do I have to pay to get the firefighting win?
Uh. Oh no! Oh, when Amy got me. Oh no. Look, look, you scratched my paint. Shit, that's gonna be expensive. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hit a lamppost. It's, it's okay. pure fucking chaos. Yeah. So that happened. You get, you literally get rewarded for being a chaos gremlin. It's like they designed. The game for people like, for people like us. <sighs> okay. Well, the humble bundle. To get the firefighting game is more than I'm willing to pay. So we'll ditch that. Okay, so here's the question. I don't know what we're doing today. I have no idea. So I could install the rally game, one of my rally games. I don't know if I have Game Pass still. I don't know how long I've got left on Game Pass. I know it's expiring soon. It expires in two days. Okay, so. So. Could also look at Forza. I don't know. I want someone to tell me what to do. Basically. Yeah. Forza Horizon 5. It's on Steam, um, but I said it's also in Game Pass. It's very fun. Shall I show it? Do you want to see a trailer for it, Bo? Should we watch a trailer? Okay. I've lost it again. Why? Hang on a second. Please hold. Super pretty. Ooh. Music. Yeah, it's in Mexico. <laughs> fun you can drive up the volcano
I'm gonna get audio muted on this. It is. It's really fun with friends as well. And you can go anywhere. You don't have to stay on the roads. Yeah, you can literally go anywhere. Like, this is game footage, by the way. This isn't cinematic, this is what it's like in-game. It's beautiful. But well, now I want to play racing games. Okay, so... <laughs> I was prepared for dri driving of some form today. Okay, do we want to do... Uh, do we want to do Forza or do we want to do WRC? I have to install either one. And we'll see how, oh, Jesus, 175 gig. That might take too long, possibly. We'll see. Hello. Hi, Echo. I might not be able to download that one while I'm streaming because it's quite large. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? 58 megasecond. What? Might not be too bad. Let me get my controller. Spring. You're a freshly you're a fresh haircut and you're freshly showered. Fucking fancy. That's okay. I'm probably nasty enough to counter your freshness. Yeah, that one's got the download on that is going really slow, but <sighs> okay. I did, but then we had to go out into the sweat. There was much sweat. Hi, Abe. Hello. Oh, I forgot I have chat hidden. There we go. It is humid and heavy. One more. Oh. Okay. Go. Someone had free candy on the side of one of those white vans. Um, and, and they got in trouble. But yeah, this, this van has got a lot more pickup than you would expect when you get going. Mm. It's fine. 
totally fine. fine. It's probably a very good thing we've got a roll cage in this. Wow, that's a really long clip. <laughs> I love that you, just, you keep hearing the first couple of bars. It's like, nope, done. I gotta steer. I'm a really good driver, okay? No, the walls kept moving. Clearly. Walls, the moving this. Yeah, they were in the wrong place, clearly. So, I don't know. I don't know yet. Exactly, Luna. Hi, Ravi. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of, like, I was, I was expect, oh, like, you guys almost made a rainbow in chat. Um, I was kind of, like, loosely planning, uh, trucks, but we were two hours late and her had other things to try and take care of and he was like stuck waiting <sighs> yeah almost um but yeah i don't i don't really have have a plan <laughs> i'm so organized so i was gonna download forza but it's like way too big to download while streaming. Like it's 150 gig, which I could do. Uh, it's just, you know, yeah, it's a really big game. It's beautiful, but it's a very big game. Uh, Echo's like, so is it, is it safe to watch or not? This is where where we were going, right? You're trying to figure out if you can like if it if, if it's safe to watch or if you're gonna have to hide. Um. <laughs> but but yeah, I I have I have no plans. My everything is a bit stuttery with the download. I think. How's that? And suddenly freeze up. I mean, we could just play Vintage Story. It's, you know, it's been a while since we played that. Oh, Ravi, I, I saw the, uh, the, your me the message from Masha. Extra no, no, we really don't. But, like, we really don't. No. But, but. You do all that butt, butt in the air. Okay. But, 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 no evidence. Oh, the grain. So we finished the chunk B yesterday. We got started on the shawl. Started off with like altering a pattern that I had and then ended up just uh, rewriting it completely. So it is now no longer vaguely the pattern that I started with. It is completely different from the very first row uh but i like it um so we got that done and then we prepped my cross stitch project got it on the q snap frame and actually started on that too um 
and we finished so it was busy craft stream like un unexpected craft stream yesterday oh i'm sorry i posted a picture of the bee it came out really good i was very pleased with how it arrived emerged came out i don't know how to word it was just like every one i've made has been slightly different but that one came out like it's just like a good size like it's kind of like a basketball but just a like elongated a bit yeah i wasn't wait ravi helped pick that flower um someone said it looks like a fascinator and i was like oh no it's like a little hat <laughs> So yeah, Ravi, Ravi and Luna helped pick the colors in the flower. But I'm so glad to have that taken care of. So that's in my box of, or bag of stuff to go on my list. that away i'm keeping my list next to me in case i think of other things while i stream i was like staring at the vintage story load screen and i'm like so what are we gonna do today <laughs> um but you have so much coming up echo i can't oh echo i thought i got the lord mower working i put the old carburetor back on uh and connected it and all and it started first time <laughs> so now it's functioning it's just that the little like the the ball pump the valve that you push to like get the gas in to start it doesn't work so we're back to having to like take off the filter and spray and start a fluid but it works and i got all of the lawns done yesterday like we have like four separate sort of lawn areas so yeah that was fantastic thanks i wanted to try and get it done before i'm going because apparently i'm better at like small engine stuff than flint so it's like, I don't mind leaving her pawns to do, but I had to fix the lawnmower first. Um, mods, can you check mod chat, please? <clears throat> um, so yeah, very, very pleased that I... I got that sorted out. <sighs> so, um, vin vintage story. I can't remember what we were doing. I can't believe I've sat in just chatting for this long. Gross. oh what a good idea so that'll help with like aeration and stuff right and water drainage i you know i really want to try and do that because i feel like that's a fun way for us to sort of like start off conversation and it gives people time to like turn up because not everyone gets alerts um but i'm also like really self-conscious of the fact that i have like giant face on stream Wow. I I almost took a photo yesterday when I was doing the lawn because there were some patches where the grass was like a foot tall. Um, and I like missed a bit. So I was like mowing and then I looked back and there was just like this mohawk. <laughs> you like that at the beginning? It's it's something I want I do want to try and do. Feel free to encourage me to do it. Because I get shy. Like when I realize that you're all just like looking at me, I'm like, 
Wait, 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 hang on. Okay, go. That's going to be some good dirt in there, Echo. That's going to be some fantastic soil. <laughs> Yes, I'm so excited. Like, I'm really enjoying hearing your progress. Yeah, right? Yeah, no, th not that kind of dirt, Ravi. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, just like hearing you talk about the stuff that you're doing in the Yard Echo is really neat. Because I like, I know this is your forever home. So, like, it sounds like as a pun, like I know it does it's not intentional but it's so good to hear you talking about putting down roots I don't mean that as a tacky pun it's a genuine but no but really me too Ravi I'm really good at growing prickly pears <laughs> that's about it the prickly pear cat grows. But it is, it's really nice just to know that you're like getting comfy. And and sort of in, investing time into your future. There is. Oh yeah. Okay. So, hang on, let me get into here. It'll never be done. Never. I'm just gonna shuffle a button on my stream deck. Uh, what was that one? That one, we're gonna move. Cut, cut, copy. Sorry, I'm just. Just getting my shield mode button on my stream deck. Okay. Um, yeah, it will never be done. There's always something to do. And that's kind of a nice thing when you're able to do. But yes, I would I would love to see some progress picks if you feel comfy sharing. <laughs> so shall we? Shall we play Vintage Story then? I feel like the music might be a bit heavy for Vintage Story. But fuck it. We'll go in. Alright. Enough of my big giant face. Yes! Show giant bug. So this is like finally and 
turned out last night that our tire pump went missing. No idea where it went. So we had to order a replacement tire pump. So I ordered a manual one and a, a one that runs off a car battery. Seemed like a good thing to have. Hello, server. Wakey, wakey. Okay, it's working on it. Resuming game calendar. Here we go. All right. Oh, so we got, I forgot about, so last, last time, invented story. Ooh, what is that? It's got really pretty wings. It looks like a, a hornet or a bee. Well, it's thorax like that? Um, yeah, so last time on Vintage Story, uh, we, we, f we did some work on the room with the stompy stompy things. A saw book. Um. So, oh yeah, so we set up. Wait, game sound is like super quiet for me right now. What if you had little tiny fingers? That is, that is pretty big. So we have uh, automation of, of a degree here. With the health hammer, icon, and the pulverizer. And we don't have a full windmill yet. The quern is annoying because it only spits, it spits out on all four sides. If you let it. So I ended up putting this, this like little staircase block up here. Um, just to prevent well, just to make sure everything goes into the chest. So now I can just put the things that I want ground up up there. Um, and then the things that I want pulverized, I can put them in here. So that's sorted out. Yeah, I don't I haven't figured it all out yet. Um, but there's like a little bent one that goes from under the chest into the back of the pulverizer. And then that spits it into this, which goes into a chest under it. There's an Archimedes screw, which is a, a thing that lifts things. Like it will lift grain like grains or dust or whatever upwards. Archimedes screws are really interesting. If you've never seen one before, it's fascinating in terms of like physics. Um, so you've got that option to like raise things up as well. 
Oh my god. So tired. So that's what we did. So I guess now I've got the pulverizer. Um I'm in a position where I can start looking for things to make tiles, right? Like a little tiny ember. All oh, right, I've got wine. Lots of syrup, lots of wine. Lots of rot. Oh, I still have some food that's good in here. Wasn't expecting that. No, there's, there's an ebb and flow to conversation. And that's part of it. Conversations come and go. And besides, everyone was like asking for photos, so it's it's okay. It's totally okay. Turnips. Turn up the turnips. Ease. All right. Holy crap, that's a lot of turnips. I don't know why I planted soy. Oh. Ooh, you must have found a warm place. <sighs> what? Pickled soybeans or soaked soybeans. Make soy milk. Why did I plant soybeans? I planted soybeans. I have many soybeans. I have. Mm. Yeah. That's probably it. Oh, I have two pineapples to process too. All right. So let's go and check the condition of the soil. Soy sauce, maybe? I've never used soy sauce. So you want pea crops or K crops? Actually, anything. All right. And what are we at? Temperature fall at 16 degrees. So we might be able to. Should I. Hmm.
I don't I don't know what I want to plant. Turnips and cabbages? Oh, these are both in. We found a little cactus. Oh, I can do that. No, I can't. I can do them. Do you want to do more turnips or cabbages? I like cabbages. Cabbage. Wait, is that cabbages there? Oh god. All right. Really? Oh, it's gonna be so fatty. Okay, so I need a pea crop or a K crop. Sauerkraut, oh boy. You can try carrots. Wait, you can... Turns into seed oil. Carrot seed oil? Let's find some carrots. Pay for carrots. Juicing carrots? Ravi, there's something about peace lilies that are just like ridiculously like carrot vodka. Mmm. Ridiculously hardy. Okay, we have ads starting soon? Maybe kind of. Possibly. Ah. Uh, maybe. I was still thinking about it. The first ad break always seems a little... iffy. Yeah, we had a peace lily from uh, Lynn's stepdad's funeral. Someone bought a peace lily and I was like, I don't fucking know what to do with this thing. So I chucked it in the backyard and that thing lasted for years. I literally threw it on the ground with the dirt. I didn't like plant it. I just like emptied the pot in the backyard and it grew for years. It finally got destroyed by heat. Okay, we have an ad break. I'm going to stand up and stretch. You should do it too. Uh, and I will see you in a few minutes.
Okay. Give it Amaryllis that you thought died. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, this pace lily was just like, I live. I go through like hurricanes and droughts, and then I just eventually ran out of oh, which is, you know, fair enough. Okay. Now, what am I going to do with all those fucking turnips? Well, let's deal with all these. A bunch of rot here. Turnip music is intense, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I should, uh... You gotta stand at just the right distance from them. From the sink. Look at all that delicious rock floating in my bath in my sink. Mmm, yummy. I don't yeah, I don't particularly like lilies, to be honest. But yeah, this thing just kept on growing, going and going. I was like, okay. Okay. So we've got mushrooms. And turnips. Oh, jeez. Pineapples. Let's get the pineapples processed first. Oh man, even just thinking about pineapple juice makes my mouth water. I need more shelving. Soul 
Okay, I may have made too many bottles. Yeah, we might. I, I think we're going to have to change the playlist because this doesn't quite kind of go with uh, some really elegant pages of industry. It's the most intense pineapple juicing ever. Okay, here's the question. Do we want to bottle, bottle the pineapple juice and ferment it, or do we want to make pineapple syrup? Syrup? It is pretty metal. Let's go with this. Go for some acoustic. Opinion time, okay. Yes, you should. Definitely. Wait, what are we? What what were you curious? I wanna know what it was now. It's too late. But now you come on. Now you've got to say it. Keep reaching for my coffee, but I don't have a coffee today. No coffee. Oh, I forgot about vinegar. Excites. Okay. That's a nice picture of you, Echo. Okay. Well, 
Wait, what words? I miss a scene. Like, did we miss a sentence there? I saw. So I matched with a nice lady, one of those apps, and then nothing. And then there were more than those words and abbreviated. So a sentence didn't go through. So we no i didn't accidentally ban you there is a like a rate limit on chat i don't know maybe if you were typing posting messages to first but there's like nothing show up in like moderation or anything I would never accidentally ban you, right? So I don't I don't know if she comes across as confident. <laughs> the echo's like I heard what you didn't say. Okay. Okay, perfect. I have the wrong ratios here. I don't know why. I don't think I've got enough. There we go. All right, I'm just going to drink that. Chat longer. Unless there's like a a a point of interest, point where uh, like a thing that you could meet where your interests coincide. Like if you're both really into like like if she's into bike riding as well then like maybe uh a general invite like i'm gonna be at this bike ride if you'd like to join otherwise i would say chat longer like stu said I mean, I don't know how confident she is, but she might be the sort who's who will like ask you. Oh. As well. Oh. Which would be great. But depend what's the time frame on this? That's a question.
Because, I mean, I guess one of the things with those dating apps is that's the point, is to meet people, right? I've never used one, so I don't know. I wouldn't even know how to start that. God forbid I end up having to enter the dating pool again. Probably just wouldn't bother, to be honest. <laughs> I just end up being a crazy old cat lady. I forgot we put that decor mod on the server. Is that a display? Oh god, I cannot get this piece of candy open. Oh my god, no, those are adorable. A mushroom storage basket? Is that actually a functional storage basket for mushrooms? Not getting distracted. Hmm. I say oh apparently PayPal is now active I don't mean to like jump on you but I want to tell you before I forgot because I have like brain sieve actually I have the brain of a hula hoop right now memory retention of a hula hoop right now which is like nothing it just spins around but nothing retains okay BG broth Destroyer of Worlds. Heart baked. One vegetable per liter of water. To break the server. <laughs> Destroyer of worlds. Wait, how do I? Is is there? I mean, is there any point? Like, is there any benefit to chopping the veggies? Other than, like, visually 
That is a honeybee question. I just realized something that I needed to do, that I wanted to do on the server. Is that what is that time? Is it minutes, hours, seconds? I don't know. We are hard baking turnips. Love, man. I I had this fan sitting in my drawer for ages, but honestly, it just goes. Okay, and so if I do that, but then it's my bucket. Oh, right there, right there. What are the cats? <laughs> That's amazing. Why am I not surprised? It's always Mia. Like, when there's shit going on, even I know, it's almost always Mia. Maya. I can't remember really how to say her name. It's always... You're like, keep it up, it's a refreshing breeze. <laughs> 
Mia, okay. I have my moments. Deep broth has begun. Wait, can I just like No, that chars them. We don't want charred ones. Making broth. Fuck my love's broth. Hi, Buck, man. I mean, at least you don't have to, uh, to admin on the server, right? There's no sys admin stuff for you here. We're making turnip broth. Did I miss? Did I miss something? I don't think it's going to be hot enough here. Oh. <sighs> For some reason. <sighs> I forgot we had that channel. For some reason, that channel was hidden from me, and I've been missing a bunch of stuff. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, Luna, I just saw the starter on that dragonfly shawl. That looks amazing, too. 
Ah, oh, look at you all being so fancy and clever. Somehow I managed to unfollow that channel, but just that channel. Well, now I can post my stuff on the appropriate channel, too. I think we're going to need to heat this up again. Last year, I just saw that uh, a retweet of the the perfect bar stool, and I love it. Right, I miss a good miss a good cast of green. That's really clever. I have no idea what I'm eating, but it's very filling. Delicious. What are we? October. So we were trying to come up with a way to keep the pool cover on the pool without it um, collecting so much rainwater. So at the moment we have this large cover and it fits the pool fine. In fact, I deliberately got it large to allow for leeway and it has holes in it which lets rainwater drain in. But we've had such heavy rainfall lately that it's basically pushing the cover like into the pool. We were trying to think of different ways of providing a bit of structure so that the water wouldn't collect. And I had some ideas of like basically just putting some like pool noodles on the surface of the pool. Um except water would just like eventually push the pool noodles aside that kind of thing and i struck me yesterday that maybe a cargo net would work so like a a really wide cargo net that then you put the cover on top maybe because it's enough of a you know, like if the mesh is close enough together, it'll allow water to drain through the holes, but it won't, shouldn't collect. So I was like, maybe I should try one of those. 
Yeah, I have no idea either. I was just like trying to think of different things. Things that would be useful. So if we can't, if it doesn't work for the function that we want, then, you know, we could use later. And I was like, I mean, a cargo net's always a good thing to have. Yeah, I was looking at, actually, I was looking at hula hoops. But yeah, basically some sort of easy, easily maneuverable system of support. Um, so my initial thought was like some, basically some pong noodles on bungee cords that we could just put across the, the top of the pool and then put the cover over. Um, or... Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Funnily enough, what you, you can buy, and it's absolutely ridiculous, is special inflatable cushions. And it's like, you could literally just buy a couple of like Dollar Tree inflatable toys. <laughs> but it's it wouldn't be high enough to to make the water run off with the water the rain that we've had has basically counted any water loss of evaporation in fact the water level has gone up in the pool uh so you free water and the rainwater is much nicer it feels a lot softer I think it's going to have to wait until I get back from Ohio, though. Because it needs to be a system that can be, like, where I can go out by myself and open the pool and close the pool. I don't want to have to need help. <clears throat> Because my brain was also like with hula hoops, I was like, I could just make like connect a bunch of hula hoops together because then you can just like fold them and again, just like put, attach them with like carabiners onto the, the frame of the pool. I'm sure there's a proper solution, but why use a proper solution when you can just like make shit up on the fly? I like when the turnips are part baked, how the greens vanish. We should be able to harvest the greens. Echo posting all the pictures today. Oh, well, can I show you what I got or what progress I have on the shawl? I think it looks really good now. But my turnips.
That's okay. I mean, there's, there's no requirement. So this is what, what I've got. Decided it's a sleeping bag for a Dorito. Unfortunately, it's now too, too drapey to hold up. Um, the original pattern called for uh, a repeat of a half double and a single crochet. And it was really dense. So even with... I went up for, like, it, the pattern said it was a half double and a single crochet repeat with a three and a half mil hook. And this is DK weight yarn. And it was, like, really dense. Um, so we experimented and tried a few different hook sizes. Um, and then I was like, what if I just don't do the single, if I do like a chain instead? Um, and that's how we landed on, on this texture. And I actually really like it. So it's kind of lacy. It's super drapey already. Um, so I think it's going to work really well. And I kind of like how, um, hey bear, how you can see these like little diamonds are going like matching different directions. I like that too. Bear coming in with his usual sparkly fantasticness. So yeah, that started off, I ended up completely rewriting it because it was just not working. So it ended up being a pattern made by Luna and Dell on stream. I keep adding Luna in because Luna was like, every time I'd be like, but what about this? <laughs> Luna was helping big time. Hi, help you, yeah, me too. I put, you did. I definitely, the scope creep, I was sitting there, Echo, and I'm like, but what if I do this? And all of a sudden I'm like, but what if I do shells? Or clusters? I was like, no, I don't. Keep it simple. The whole point is to keep it simple. The other day I was getting so eaten up that I, I used insect repellent on my arms and my legs and my feet. But I forgot about my back. And so I got like a couple of bites like on my shoulder blades and it's just like, oh god! With me? I would never do that. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry you're having an itch. That's no fun. There's a, a, a doohickey that I've seen on Amazon, which I'm intrigued about. That I want to try. 
Oh no, that's awful. Jerks. It's like this little like targeted heat pen thing that you can get for mosquito bites or for bug bites. And apparently it's really effective. I have one of those little there's like a little like venom sucker type thing that I've tried before and they don't seem to do anything. Not for me anyway. But they're supposedly really good to have for like other insect bites too. It basically is just like a little like almost like a a syringe plunger, but without the syringe, it just like cups onto your skin and then you just like pull the air out and it like pulls out what he was on the bite. Doesn't work for me for mosquito bites. Probably because I have too many. Can I, I wonder, can I mix? We cross the streams. I mean, oh no, that's really cute. <laughs> I've definitely gone to the car in summer. You know, when the car's been sitting in the sun for a while and you have like a bite on your arm and just being like, Psst. I have it on my wish list. Hang on, let me see if I can find the link. It's called a Bura Bug Bite Healer. But I don't know if it works like after the fact. But it is basically just like a cigarette lighter, but like less intense. Please don't use a cigarette lighter to deal with your insect bites. Please. As, as tempting as that is. Oh. Why'd you let me put... Safe. Yeah, but please don't do that. <laughs> ah, all right. All right, here we go. 64 liters. Of veggie broth. Coming up. And I'll just eat this partly cooked onion and partly cooked turnip. It would be so yummy. I'm going to need a whole lot more work. All right, that's going to take a while. All right, I wanted chickens. I forgot about that. I can't believe I planted more cabbages. Let's do a temperature check up top. Um, do I want to do that at night time though? Oh heck, I've got berries. Oh my god. Oh.
We have a bunch of syrup, so maybe I could make some candy. I'm super peckish. Now I'm worried it's going to be too cold up here. I need, I need help. <laughs> okay. God, it got cold up here so fast. Do I make an underground orchard? It's like 10 degrees in here. I have no idea what it's going to be like in winter here. So trees need 10 days below zero. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Trying to figure out when I should try and plant my cherry tree saplings or my cherry trees because I know that they need to be cold. I need they need the fertilization. But I have a break in the minute. But yes, I will. But I don't know where I want to plant them.
Hey, Brass. Good for 58 years. Okay, so I've got three liters of broth left over. Alright, now we have ads. Alright, I'm gonna stand up and stretch and take a break. You should too. Uh, and I will see you on the other side.
It was awkward, weird timing. All right, so we have a bunch of broth now. Broth and vinegar. Is it that one? No, it's not. God, every time I place that thing, I clip into it, it's creepy as fuck. Okay. So that's processed. Now we still have, oh my god, we still have the berries. Cooking with Tao. Increase yield from berry bushes. Yeah, go on. I'm already going to be drowning in berries, so why not? Ice cream. Oh man, I do love a good ice cream sandwich. It's, you know what? My One of my favorite ice cream sandwiches are from Walmart. There's something about the flavor of the cookie they use for the ice cream sandwiches that I just really like. Aww. I need to find some more white currant bushes, yes. They do, and the fruit, yeah. I mean, the berries look not great, and then the white currants themselves look not great as well. Still can't get over how bright it is in here. All they're fussing about to get fish in here. I don't even know if I've got any left. Alright, looks like the last of the fish died. It does. 
Yeah, it's a lighting thing. Oh, we got two mama cows. I almost I have so much work to do here. Hey mama cow. and chickens well I don't have chickens I want chickens I don't have chickens shut the door behind me okay so what do we got here bunch bunch of berries bunch of bunch of berries you can have chickens Excuse you? I haven't put any fruit in yet, buddy. One of our neighbors, somewhere near us, has chickens. Um, like a house or two in, in any direction. And honestly, I just love listening to them. Like just the the the, the clucking chatter and the, the rooster who's just like literally all that and you know and a bag of chips. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, just like listening to them, you know, the, the, the coos and clucks. I do not know they eat mice. I'm curious. I mean, I knew they eat bugs. Which is pretty cool. I can't stop eating my candy. <sighs> hey, oh, man, I just, I keep reaching for my phone. I keep reaching but my phone thinking it's coffee for some reason. Hmm. Bats are such great pollinators too.
We get them, but uh, we see them occasionally if you go out at the right time of night here. We saw them when we were in the pool a couple of weeks back. They, you like, uh, you could see them like swooping around, but they weren't swooping in our backyard eating the bugs, jerks. I guess probably because we were in there. And they were just like, ew, people, gross. <laughs> hmm. I have to take a picture. At some point, we've got a tree in the backyard that woodpeckers love. See, it's like, it's woodpeckers, but there's like, lines like perfect little lines of like vertical and horizontal lines where the woodpecker's gone and then moved over like a centimeter and gone in again oh that is cool oh I'm still like <sighs> that bourbon candy. I still haven't decided how I feel about it. New Zealand has bats. They're like the only native mammals in the country. It's like a long-tailed and a short-nosed bat or a long-nosed and a short-tailed bat. I remember the other. Oh, that'll be cool. We get some wildlife cameras, like a wildlife camera set up on it. Yeah, there's just noses and tails everywhere. We've got a, a camera set up that I need to set up for Flint's mum. It's like one of the bird cameras. <clears throat> and it's got like the a webcam in it inside the feeding thing so you can like look at who comes to eat. And it's solar powered. Which is kind of cool, but I've got to try and find the right spot to put it where I can get to it to add more bird seed without killing myself climbing but also in a place where people aren't gonna see it and try and destroy it because people are people and he keeps on suggesting by the front door and i'm like it's a terrible birds aren't going to chill out and want to relax and eat near the front door but we have a pecan tree that might be good for it Oh, uh, pecan tree has so much fruit. I have no idea what to do with them all. But it's like... Aww. I posted a picture of the pecans, like, I don't know, you've probably seen them before, but the tree is just like covered in, in the fruit. I 
That's a really bright picture. And there's like buds like on all of the branches. It's great. It's going to be a really big crop, I think, this year. And I, I don't like pecans. <laughs> it's like, oh, good. I'm going to try and sell them. I don't think I know what a black cap chickadee looks like. It sounds cute. The name is cute. Makes it sound like a little small squeaky bear. Ginger is really spicy. Oh my god, that's adorable! Shut up. We saw ducks today. Not quite the same. There's a bunch of retention ponds around the gas station up the road. And it's a fam home for, I don't know, whatever the collect collective noun is for ducks. A flock of ducks, I guess. And there's one particular mama duck who's been there for ages now. And she like collects everyone else's babies. And so you'll see her walk, like everyone who goes to the gas station knows to keep an eye out for the ducks. Hi, Rhea. And so, like, today, we, we had to stop and let her pass us, like, cross over in front of us. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, sorry, I was just in a missing person alert. Um, so she walks across in front of us. And this mother duck, she's got, I don't know, like a dozen babies following her, but they're all different sizes. So, like, from, like, quite large to, like, she's got a couple that are little tiny ones. And they were trying to, like, they were jump, we're watching them, like, jump up um, on the curb. And the tiniest one couldn't, it took, I don't know, like, five minutes for the littlest duck to try and get up. And Flint was about to get out and like try and like help it and the mama duck was just like watching while the little tiny duck was trying and it was just like it was just like so good for the heart yeah no that was my phone yelling at me for uh, an endangered person I don't know why I'm getting those alerts because I thought I turned them off but it was just it was so heartwarming looking at the duckies and I just love how everyone just stops to like let the ducks go. Like I've I've stopped traffic on the main road outside our house before to escort ducks across the road. It's just a thing. Like we have a a main road that has two lanes going east and west each. And I saw a, a mama duck clearly wanting to cross the road, so I like walked out on the road like my arms out like a crossing warden like stopping the traffic like the ducks you gotta let the ducks cross and everyone stopped ducks are important <laughs> why is it Yeah, I don't know why that one came through. But it's it's so funny. Apparently ducks do that. I didn't know that. But ducks will just like 
they'll lose their baby and then like another mum will just be like you're coming with me What's the ratio of fruit to syrup? I thought it was like one to point one. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, bottles. I've got some empty bottles still. I don't. <laughs> Wait, that. Can't tell what that is. Here we go. Wait, have I got more fruit? I have got more fruit. What? Oh, hey, I'm hungry. There we go. I guess I need some quads. An empty bottle. Well, I could... Where did all the salt go? These were all full of salt. And it despawned. Did I take it? No, yeah, probably. Assholes. Look, you lot need to stop. Oh no, it's right there.
Stop stealing my non-existent salt. Well, it's not like I can put them in crystals. So I have rice and soy. Or chopped meat and vegetables. Add vegetables, meat, sausage, or boiled pickles. does but there's the complexity of cooking in this it's it's a lot need more tomato paste right and pancake mix Really? What a surprise. All right. Fifty five candied blackberries, like currants, sorry. Oh, you know what? I just realized. I love that sound so much. Pop, pop, pop. All right. You're partly empty, so I'm just going to drink you. Up, 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 up. Okay, peanut butter. Oh man, I do love French toast. We had crepes for dinner the other night. If we do it in flexi, flex, flexing, I had crepes. Why do we have so much red currant wine? Oh. Gotta have a, a good stockpile of in case Drax ever, ever comes to visit. You never know.
<laughs> He's like, what do you mean? What's the point of wine? Yeah, drink it. I was like, oh. Silly me. Yeah. I said th I said that once. Just once. And it keeps coming back up again. Yeah, like use it in cooking. Actually, I think you can use wine in cooking. Or I thought you could use wine in cooking. Yeah, right? Or like a nice vodka sauce. I mean, if you can use bourbon to make gummy candy. I, you know, you're right. I had to go riot. Write in uh, in the server and be like, excuse me, potatoes. Especially because there's carrots and turnips. So like. We already have those kind of things. But, you know, maybe they're worried it's going to be a gateway and then if you have potatoes next, you'll be wanting, like, sweet potatoes. I don't even think there are clams. I don't think there's any seafood, is there, other than fish. Fish? Like, salmon is the only fish, really. Crabs. That's true. If you've got the DLC. No, not DLC. Uh, thing. Mod, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got some cranberry brandy here from Toast. It's pretty cute. Like, you know, maybe I need to process the food that I have already.
I'll keep some syrup, but there's no point in me having multiple types of syrup sitting around. It is, I don't mean it, it's very pretty. So I've still got a good amount of black currant syrup. I don't have any more black currants to process, so we're going to put that up. I could make a bunch of candied red currants. Oops. It's like there's literally no point just having shelves and shelves of of syrup when I could be utilizing it. Blueberries are going to start popping soon. So if... If the cherry trees need a temperature below zero... See, the thing is, I don't know if it gets below zero and... I mean, it's it's nine degrees right now in the cave, eight degrees. <laughs> it's amazing. Cranberries. There. A glitter goth? I'm not familiar with that. Got it. Yeah.
All right, well, now I know. But yeah, also, apparently... Baby Goth or Baby Doll Goth. Today, I learned... Emo. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, none of it's original, you know? <laughs> like, I know we thought when, you know, when we were teens in the 90s, the grunge was original, it wasn't. Literally nothing that hasn't happened time and time before. it's probably a bit more ob a bit more uh obvious now with the changes because the uh, the speed at which these these cycles go through is is faster and faster like i remember when i was in my late late teens early 20s you know everything there was a lot of like you know flared jeans and sort of slight sort of 70s vibe and then that went out and then you know it, it's been back again <laughs> yeah i, I mean i can't, i love it It's fun. I enjoy seeing changes in fashion. I've pretty much worn exactly the same thing since university. Though I was very excited um, when I went out the other day. We went to Maurice's um, clothing store and I picked up a pair of wide leg jeans for $10. And I was just like, fuck yes. I used to always wear wide leg jeans just because they're so comfy. I was like, I don't care if they're in style now. I'm just like so happy. Yeah, both like all of the jeans that I have are stretch. 
I have no interest in like non-stretch fabric for pants. I've got I've got too much curvy stuff to not go for stretchy things. Um but yeah, these ones that I got from Marie's, it's like They're, they're too long for me. They're wide leg and they're already like they have like a deliberate fray at the bottom rather than a calf. And I don't care. I'm just like, you know what? I don't care. I like them. <laughs> I'm a I'm a wear them. I felt cute wearing them. It's really weird, actually. I've got so used to wearing just like leggings that when I feel fancy when I go out wearing jeans, it's like these are my good jeans. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I see. I just have my backpack that Punky made. That's my my everyday carry. I need to refill my water. So I said it last night, but I'll say it again for everyone here. Wash your damn water bottles. I couldn't figure out why my water was just tasting not delicious. And the lid was nasty. All right. A sash bag. What's a sash bag? I washed my water bottle and the lid, and now my water tastes good again. Does it smell worse? Okay. Echo is the educating me in all sorts of things today. Oh, one of them. Okay. You could probably crochet one of those pretty easily. Or make one. Oh yeah, I think I've seen something similar to that. It is nice in that it, it seems to be kind of conform like conforms to your shape, kind of. Bloody hell, the price tags are insane. They are a bit of a strange shape.
It reminds me of something, but I'm not sure what. I think maybe a kidney. That's true. But it's surely, like I say, looking at the shape of it, look, they even give you like a vague, like, on the site, you can see like the shape of it. I bet you could make a pattern. Yeah, they look really interesting. And I, I do like that they look like they sit quite flat against your body. Yeah. Oh my god, so much cooking. <laughs> no, please ne echo, friends. Never apologize for your presence. Never. I love that our conversations are never boring. I never know where they're gonna go. And it's always interesting. And besides, you've taught me two things today that I didn't know about. Oh, so we have ads starting in 30 seconds. Ah, so time to stand up, stretch, get a break, get a drink, take a break, have a snack. Three, then, if you count the chickadees. All right, I'm going to see you in a few minutes. Excellent.
Okay. <clears throat> we now have lots of dried fruit. again. I'm, just, I'm getting annoyed by having to wait to unload a point. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Excuse me. Uh, no, it didn't crash. I restarted it. And while it was restarting, I was trying to decide which of my nail wraps I wanted to use. Because I haven't done them in a while. Why is it not taking? Yeah, I haven't I haven't done mine in ages. I didn't realize it until the other day. I mean, I had my I had like the the manicure, but I was going through my leftovers from last year. I think these ones were my favorite. The sparkly orange, I really loved. Especially paired with the, the little trees. Oh yeah, so I still, I still don't know what your new job is. I would love to hear about it.
means you mentioning having to use heavy machinery. That makes sense. Man, you can find some cool shit at the dump. Other people's trash, man. I'm glad that you found something if nothing else it'll tide you over and you know keep you active at, well actually you don't need to be kept active because you are pretty but you know earning money will be nice Woo, yeah, actually that's a good point. Like getting certified for that stuff will definitely help you in the future. That's really cool. even better. Well, I hope it goes well. I'm sure it will. Yard goat. Sounds curious. Oh dear, you're going to be having flashbacks of my streams.
Wow. Honestly, I think it sounds like it could be a really interesting job. Hobbits, you big manie. You're right there. Why won't this one go away? Oh, they're so much better. Yeah. Yeah, like the hottest month of the year. Yeah, I'd say doing the uh, the custodial stuff at the university will definitely have given you a a start, a good solid start for dealing with gross things, and working in the national parks too. I'm sure there's all sorts of grotty shit there.
Oh, whoops. I forgot to eat yet. Yeah. I feel like if you're if you're good at doing that, you're probably like, oh, that doesn't. I don't miss bar work <laughs> for that particular reason. I used to, I really struggled with, um... The, like, the messes that would get left in the urinals. But... When I learned that whole, just... The whole... Uh, smile? To suppress the gag reflex, that was like game changer. Good for me. Whether or not, I don't know if it was like a psychological thing or if it actually did work, but. Oh Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Seems smart, and that way you're not having to bring the stank home.
Yeah, Hobbit's um, worked in waste disposal for a while there. Waste management. Oh, that's better. Those bubbles were irking me. Duck. Sounds not fun. No, that's not bad at all. Oh, I can hear a helicopter. That means someone naughty is outside. Mm hmm. True facts. Oh, 
Spicy. All right. So we've got a bunch of mushrooms here. Holy crap, I would throw a lot of firewood there. Garlic mushroom soup. Okay, so, um, there is definitely a helicopter circling outside right now. Look, it's so hard when no one understands you. I really not have oh I do mm -mm. wait not that one plant bits Now I have to find somewhere far away to put my chickens so that I won't upset them. 
I haven't got any chickens yet, but you know, when I do get a chicken, So to be fair, I, I don't really spend a lot of time out here. Not at the moment. How much space does a chicken need, really? No, do I run past this? Is this going to be too close to where I run every day? I don't want to like spook them all the time. Because then they won't lay. You know what, maybe over here. Well, I was saying I, I don't really come over here very often. Ask you to go there. I have no idea what the point of any of that is.
Oh, oh really? Oh, that's a bugger. Well, I mean, you'll still be able to use your other ones on yard work or... Okay, so we put the food there. Yeah, I haven't had to do that in a while. Okay. I, when I was in England, I worked on a construction site, so I had to there. But yeah, how he toes.
Ah. Heck. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, one chicken house. Oh, I forgot I planted over here. Right. I would think not wearing steel cap boots into an MRI would kind of be like a given. So, maybe? Got it. So don't be emotionally supportive and it won't be a problem. Oops. I did, and it is not a discussion point in stream. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Pokemon. As a, a whole, uh, I don't do breaking news, um, primarily because whether it's really good or really bad news or whatever it, it doesn't allow me the time to to find out what's going on because if i've been streaming i haven't had a chance to learn um but yeah it's it puts streamer on the spot so just as information for everyone else that's that's why i tend to avoid it because it, it's so hard to try and understand you know what to say or do um but thank you for executing caution with that. Appreciate it. I think this will do, right? It's a... A chicken... Hut? Kentucky Fried Chicken Hut? No? 
Now I gotta go find some chick. Oh. What? what was that for? Now we gotta go find some chickens. Something to put chickens in. Little outfit, like. Come on. You know what? I do the same thing. I'll do something. It won't even hurt. And I'll still be like, oh, ow. Okay. Chickens. Where do I find chickens? Toast, have you published a recipe book yet? Look at all those chickens. Me too. Not me looking at the clock to see if it's like too late. Oh, that's a rabbit. I don't want a rabbit. Can you tame rabbits? Because, you know, stew. But, you know. Seems like you should be able to trap rabbits. And, you know, like, breed them. Chicken! No, chicken, don't drown! Mmm, yummy! Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Stew like rabbits? Maybe. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, pets. Here, chicken. No, you go, chicken, you're going the wrong way. I'm at. Chicken, why are you swimming away from the delicious berry that's in a special delicious berry house? Okay. You know what? Fuck you, chicken. You didn't deserve the, the berry anyway. Wait, you're just like having a sit over there? I'm like, I don't care about the chicken, but I kind of want the chicken. Uh, my, <laughs> my, <laughs> my patience. All right. I'm, I'm. <laughs> Oh, look, is he it's swimming away again? That was a dumb chicken anyway. Why can we have it like arc where you can just like throw a ball at them and it like knocks them out? Get the berry! 
berries. Psst. Get the berries. Should I have used a different bait? Trap is literally being down 10 seconds and I'm already questioning all my decisions. <laughs> I mean it is. It's it's literally booping dinos on the head and then taking them home. And then you breed them. Nico, we haven't got a chicken yet. What even is the point of my life? I don't have a chicken. Is there a way to... That's like 84 years. Right. So long. I have absolutely no idea what that symbol is. We're going to leave a, ch a pink chicken marker there. And I'm going to walk away. I'm walking away from the chickens. This is me not hovering over the chicken trap. Hobbits. I can't see anything. Is it time yet? The thing is, the chickens can die in the traps. If you leave them too long. Okay, we've got ads popping in 30 seconds. Ankle. So please take the time to stand up. Stretch. Have a snack. Eat a chicken. Oh, that sounds frustrating. And uh, I'll see you all in a few minutes. Except for maybe Bugma who might get stuck on a monitor somewhere. Never to be seen again.
X. Alright, um, Buckman is, like, making things. How many, how many monitors do you use? Um, hello, my chicken trap has still not triggered. What the actual? Or I have three, but I think I could do with more. I'm not happy with my layout. I had like a vertical and then like two horizontals next to it <clears throat> which worked pretty well because the horizontal ones were curved and I like the vertical one because I can put like OBS at the top and then like twitch dashboard and like um I have like Soundstripe or Epidemic or whatever like in a browser so that's like all stream monitoring stuff and having a vertical kind of it's handy but 
I switched my primary, you know, I got like the, that new monitor a couple months ago, which is amazing. I love it. So I put my ultra wide as the vertical monitor, but it, it doesn't really work because I use Windows snapping and Windows snapping does not allow the quarters <laughs> for, for Windows getting divvied up into like one, two, three, four, or columns, I should say. So I am wondering if I need to shuffle things around again. This ultra wide monitor is such a pain in the tuchus. There's, there's like Windows power tools that you can get that will do that. But it's, I don't know, this ultra wide is just irksome. I think I am tempted just to put it on. So I usually have my primary monitor ahead of me as gaming. And then my left hand monitor is portrait that's for monitoring stream stuff and then the right hand one is like discord and you know like other browser windows um so but when i'm not watching molly when i'm streaming that kind of thing but i think i need to switch them around If I have space. This ultra wide monitor, man, it's just it's so cumbersome <laughs> and and clunky. I have two chicken traps down now. Hey chickens. Get in my trap. Yeah, there was a, a Windows power tool that I used for a while there where you can actually create your own zones. And it's kind of neat. But the other thing is that the I can't raise my monitor stand anymore. And the ultra wide is like the the edge is like butted up on the desk or barely touching the desk. Yeah. Yeah, you can make your own grid <laughs> with with a power tool, but not with the native window snapping function. Mm. Is it power tools or power toys that they call it now? Power Toys, Windows Power Toys um, has, has stuff that does that too. But I, th I think I just need to shuffle things around again. Welcome back. Did you bring me anything delicious? We're hunting. Oh, look at the fireflies. I have two chicken traps down. And now I want KFC. I will accept pretzels. I really don't need KFC though.
There's still a helicopter circling. It, it is a very, yeah. Like, do I really need it? I don't, though. Stop it. Closing that window, we're not. It seems a little bit on the nose to be hunting for KFC recipes, but I don't even have a chicken yet. Yes, but you were doing an art. I'm running away from the chickens. Hello, hi, welcome to my stream. I am Dal, and I think Put is pretty cool. You attempt to draw a new channel banner? Not more Gwent or Zoomies? Okay. I loved your your cat the cat on the ending screen of your storm. It's very cute. Sleepy kitty. It is. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hi, Sita. Welcome in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have like a persistent frog in my throat at the moment. We're gonna. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference. We're gonna sleep. And then maybe when we wake up in the morning, there'll be chickens in the boxes. Oh! Maybe. Probably not. Oh, thank you, Bakma. Appreciate it. <clears throat> put is the best is put. Confirmed.
You are the puttiest pud who ever did pud. And confirm, 100%. But I'm trying to catch chickens. <gasps> you're, you're like right at the trap. Look, it's like eating the berries. Get in the box. It's much darker on your channel. No chicken. Did it, did it steal the fruit, but not get in? No, it's still in there. I put in fresh berries. Tasty, tasty fresh berries. I have a trap over there. And a trap over here. Should I be using like peanut skins instead? Where are all the chickens? <laughs> I'm I'm so impatient. The uh, spoiler text is such a Yeah, whoa, yo, where's the chicks at? Spoiler text that makes me want to click it so bad. Don't look at this thing! Where did it go? Where did Chimkin go? Maybe... Maybe put... Mmm... Peanut skins. Oh, it's right there. Oh, maybe. That seems a pretty determined chicken. Ah, oh, you little fucker. Now there's a pig eating. The pig broke my trap. Oh my gosh.
One quest on the Lyrie, 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 one hick the Lyrie, one dink donkey the Lyrie, one hick the one be bounced the Lyrie, one be bounced the Lyrie, one be bounced the Lyrie, one hick the Lyrie, one spinny love the Lyrie, one spinny love the Lyrie, one spinny love the Lyrie, one dink donkey 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 the Lyrie, one hick. Hick. Taurus, thank you. Thank you for your support for 13 months. I don't, I, I don't know, like, it, I say it every time I'm like, should I take it away? But it's far too entertaining to leave it. You know, no one does anything except use emotes. Okay, so now we know peanut skins work better. That chicken is going to end up drowning itself because it's so far out into the water. So, I can't believe that pig broke the fucking trap. So rude. Oh, hey, I don't know. I had Pete so close to the house. Can I see the art? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Igor. All right. It's really cute. I love it. It's really good, Pud. It is Mario Kart, Pud. That's a rabbit. That's not a chicken. Whoop. Rabbit is not chicken. I'm pretty good at this chicken identification thing oh here 
Chicken, chi I cannot believe the little asshole stole the peanuts. God damn it. Just want a chicken. Instead, I'm like causing a mass chicken drowning event. Oh, there's some bees there. A lot of fishes. That's fishes, but fishes aren't chickens. See? Rabbits aren't chickens. Fish aren't chickens. Oh, if we could find a chicken around here, that would be great. Nice and open. This would be such a lovely spot to build. Oh. Uh. I'll eat the berry that I left out for the chickens, since... No one else is. What is that? Oh, that's coal. Okay. Coal is also not chicken. I can't have KFC if I don't even have any chickens. I mean, this is really pretty though, like right here. I think we've been around here before. Like with the big old trees. Here, chicken, chicken. I tried to be patient. Chickens like don't care. <gasps> Chicken. Boy chicken. Is boy chicken? Maybe boy chicken. Wait, what did you startle from then? Oh, come back. Mmm. Peanut skins. It definitely gets their interest fast, doesn't it? Yes! Chicken! Oh, 
I forgot about that bit. I'll have to come back for it. I completely forgot about needing a bag slot free. I got a chicken. Wait, how do I put it down again? Delete the hot key. Oh, okay. What? I totally missed that. Read basket trap. Pick it up, carry it right mouse. Button, click it. I don't understand. Release the carried animal, select the hotkey. Okay. I did that. Doesn't do anything. Oh. I don't know what I did. There wasn't that. All right. Now I have to go where I find where my bag was. Shut up. That was around here somewhere, right? Here. Whew. All right. One chicken, get. Yeah. I don't know if it was a boy or a girl chicken I picked up. But apparently peanut skins are the way to go. Also, apparently I'm hungry. It's too dark to go hunting chickens.
It's girl chicken. <laughs> I mean, I would if it didn't entertain me. But Delirey when Dink Donkey always ends up. Oh, oh boy. Hello? Death on the eyeballs. Oh, God. Did I break it? I don't think so. Questioning voice. I, I, yeah, I think it is just a bad junk, bad chunk. This happens to be my chunk. That's a bad chunk. Which is rouge. Hmm. Okay, chunk is fixed. Good chunk. Angie Chunk. Chunk is all better now. I know I'm hungry. I had to wash the dishes first. Okay. Oh, no, I want that one. I know. There's a little part of me that's like, you know what? I could like forget to wash the dishes before I go on holiday. What do the cows eat? Tuesday. Sadie and Sal are picking me up on Tuesday. Ugh. Um, so... I don't know yet if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to see how I feel uh, in terms of like feeling like time constraints for packing and stuff. Um, I am. 
the the trip we've got a, a group chat for everyone involved and it's been called the great del napping yes I love everyone's like dal's big trip um but yeah i'm gonna i'm just gonna play it by ear for tomorrow Adventure! A delivery? Very good, Darius. The delivery? That's what happens at the other end. Toast is very good at the old wordplay. Um, I mean, really, there's nothing for me to do other than pack clothes. So... Monday will be laundry cow doing a swim oh well, i'm not i mean i'm not really stressed though i just i really don't want to forget rayam's bees like that's that's the one thing that i'm like worried about i've been like there what they are already in the pile of stuff that I absolutely must take. That's the main thing. Wanting to make sure. There, they really are. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, we might as well talk about it now. Um, I, I say I don't know what my plans are for next week because I don't know what Sadie and Sal's uh, setups are like um, in terms of computer access. So once I get to uh, Time Wanderer's place, uh, I'll have access. What are you doing the googly eyes for? Ah, uh, I was like, I'm sorry, is that a polar bear? No, it's a goat. All right, enjoy your dinner. Every time I see those things. Ego. <laughs> right. That is true. Um I I so I do have an app on my phone. Or on one of my other phones that lets me treat it as a webcam. Um, it uses a, an app called DroidCam, an OBS plugin, so I can basically use it as a webcam. So, like, if you saw any of the, either one of my pumpkin carving streams, that's what I used. And it's pretty good. Um, and it doesn't use a lot of system resources, so it's possible, maybe, uh, depending on setup, I might be able to set the camera that up. Um, and then we can just, like, chill out and do, like, a little bit of knitting or... Or chatting, whatever. Um, honestly, the the most not stressful, but uh, different thing is I've not been away for her from home for more than like a night in years, and I am such a creature of habit that. If I'm like half an hour late for stream, I'm stressed about it. And I know it doesn't matter, but I like to be on time. So I'm going to be sitting there at like 3.30 in the afternoon up in Ohio being like, there's something I'm supposed to be doing and being like, all right. But yeah. So, so the streams for the next few weeks will be sporadic based on access to technology. Um, but I'm also giving myself permission to just like chill the fuck out.
So that'll be nice if I can do it. I feel like this is not chicken country. It's a rabbit. Yeah, I mean, I actually do have a list of stuff, but it's all like just like little bits. What I probably need to do is actually just get my suitcase out and start putting stuff in it and be done with it. Uh, Stone, where are you off to? Coming to Florida now that I'm finally leaving? You wouldn't have thought chickens would be so elusive. Well, I wouldn't have thought chickens would be so elusive. Have I been down here? Yes. Put that cow up on the hill. Mostly, I'm anxious about the fact that everyone's going to forget that I exist and no one's ever going to come to my stream ever again. Ever. Like, ever, ever. And then, I don't know. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, well. There is that. <laughs> That's a cow. I mean, I, I think there's a few people who still have like eight, nine months on their subs. And, and there's a few who have got like annual subs on uh, fourth wall too. So. Where the heck are the chickens? It's it's just a content creator brain. <laughs> who, who would do that? Uh, the fourth wall makes a difference. I keep on like looking at my sub count here and being like, oh. And then I'm like, no, wait, because people are supporting me on fourth wall and that's better. Like so much better. So it's not, oh, it's like, woo, instead. I mean, I, th I think there's definitely going to be impact. Like, my streams have been less uh, regular this last month, and I have noticed a difference with my numbers. Um, but that's okay. I mean, there's also like a natural sort of uptick. 
upward, sorry, down, downward tick in in views over summer. Like that's totally normal. And that's something that I've seen year after year. School holidays and people wanting to be in the outside or something. Some weird shit. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's all cyclical. Yeah, it's that hot, wet stuff, I think. Something, something to do with sweat, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of gross. I, I don't know. It's not all that it's cracked up to be really, but each, each to their own, I guess. Man, who was hot at the tire shop today? Blech. Like with with all the the concrete and the sunshine and the tires all like radiating heat. Yes. I bet if we swim across the lake, there's just going to be this little like chicken gyre in the middle. You know how you have like th there's that big like trash plume in uh, the middle of the Atlantic. It'll be like that, but just full of chickens. All the chickens who have been trying to escape me. They're hiding. See, look, there's a chicken. Oh, God, look, there is. There's two chickens right there. I, I constantly forget that I have this function. Apparently these islands are where it's at. See if we can get to the middle one. I don't know how close you need to be. Here we go. I must wonder if this is gonna work because it's like they're gonna come back this way here chicken hey chicken I don't think that's gonna work there Now I have like nine inch. Look, there's more chickens. Look at them. Bloody hell. Look at them all. Just 
three. Oh, two, three. Look at all those chickens. Chicken, chicken. Yummy, yummy peanuts, kids. They do. Where did he go? Why are you over there? Come get the yummy food. Oh, now there's two coming up. Maybe. No, never mind. False alarm. It's coming right for me. The North Atlantic Chicken Gyre. Alright, we have ads starting in 30 seconds. Oh, less than 30 seconds. Sit up, stretch, get a drink, have a snack, pet the dog, or the cat. I'll see you in a few minutes.
You can zoom. Could you get zoomed off the leaf pile? We're sleeping out here. Hmm. Maybe. I have heard that happens. Sometimes. Some of these people... Mind. There's like so many delicious snacks right here. Get your peanut skins here. Oh, now I don't see any chickens. The too early in the day for chickens. Wait, what's that? Oh, that I think it's a rabbit. Please don't come over here, you'll startle. This is so silly. I feel like this place is not working for me for chickens. Oh, that was a chicken. It was just having a slip. Okay. Again, sorry. <clears throat> I 
inherently having to mod in another stream because no one else is doing it. Chicken, hello. I think we should just move, right? This isn't this isn't working for us here. So you lost it. That was your chance. No peanut skins for you. rabbits it's a rabbit meeting and a snake But I can't catch rabbits. Not <laughs> with, right? I did have try harder. Stop making excuses. Did that? Oh, chicken. We have a slight graphics glitch there. All right. Mods have been instructed in other channel. I do like this path mod. See, like I can see where I've been. But I, I don't know if I would use it again. I don't know. I feel not sure if it was causing problems. But... chickens <gasps> we already have eggies 
job, girls. Oh, wait, did I just accidentally do something? I had a weird bug when I, uh, the other day, the server crashed on me and I ended up with some stuff duped. wasn't a lot but I was just like okay interesting Missed. And the worst thing was, the person I just had to moderate is a fucking streamer. So they should know better. Streamers, man. Taking streamers. Yeah. Like, heck. Super heck. Yeah, apparently somehow I ended up with that, uh... The, um, er, er, um, an extra trap. I wanted to do something with those, but I haven't decided what. Oh, they were laying. You know what? I'm just going to put them there. So now we have to find a boy chicken. Oh, hang on. Makes me put all the peanuts away. I accidentally auto-filed. I fully expect to like, I don't know, go out and come back and find this like random rooster traipsing around. I had more than that. All right. Now we're on the hunt for a boy chicken. 
That is not a boy chicken, that is a tree. Um, not, not the same at all. Boy chickens is not tree. Oh yeah, I need to get some more forts too. I spy... Cow. And another cow. Gosh, this is useful. I think that's where we were just before. In there, I think, is where we got chicken number two. Usually you can hear them. The, you know the fave, the chicken sounds? We need the one from uh, Slime Rancher. Funny, not chicken. Also, bunny, not chicken. <gasps> Welcome back. We has two chickens now. Oh yes. Is it is it John? George. Paul. Ringo. So not a beetle. It's very the wings are super pretty. I mean, right, but I had to. It definitely doesn't look beetle-ish. And not a single one- I'm sorry, that was terrible. I said not a single one of them has a, ter has a, a, a Liverpudlian accent. So... I, I'm overtired, what can I say? That was pretty bad. That seems like... No, it doesn't. Are you looking for rooster now? But also, what if there's something in here that's not a roost? Oh.
I think this is familiar. I think we've been here. I really ought to like mark tunnel entrances. Titanium. Hi, Amelia. Hello. We're hunting chickens, uh, which is clearly why I'm in a cave. The elusive chicken. Oh, is that the way I came? I think this is the way I came. I have two girl chickens. Now I need boy chicken. Because the girls are already laying. But we seem to be having... Ooh, Tuesday! I go on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to download uh, Vintage Story onto my friend's computer too. When I get there. But that will probably won't be this week. Next week. The upcoming week. Oh, thank you. I'm sure I will. I'll still I'll still try to stream when I can. It just depends on uh, access to streaming device. Um, I was saying before, but I'm going to try and remember yeah. um, to take... I've got a, a phone with an app on it that allows me to treat it as a, a camera for OBS. As long as it's on the same network. And then if nothing else, I might not be able to game, but we can still do like craft streams, even if I just set up the camera on the couch or an armchair or something. Because I'm going to miss everyone. <gasps> Get them onion. I see high fertility soil. But I don't see... If only there was something you could do that would help with that point. I've heard a rumor No, <laughs> I've, he I've heard a rumor that there's this thing called sleep. And if you if you do it, uh, s something happens. I just got irritated that an empty tree hollow just had like tree seeds. That that's true. Slip. What is 
does this slip? Um, I would eat the cake first and then have a slap. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got echo pictures. Oh, that's a really cute deck colors scheme for the planter. What did you think of it, Brad? Mal, Mal played it with uh, Flint and I for a little bit there. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, put. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, Nicks. Whoa! Look at all those chickens. Like actually, look at all those chickens. Oh, is there? Oh no, that's really cute! $69, really. Oh, you're a girl chicken. I want a boy chicken. I'm too close. Yeah, but I need the boy chickens to fertilize the eggs. This will be fine. Is like <laughs> I fell out of bed. Oh. Oh my god, I can't believe how many chickens you are. It's ridiculous. <sighs> what the fuck was that? Gosh. 
I, I just, I don't like, uh, how do you even? So there's, there's a rooster. And there's a rooster. Oh, the duped trap went away. All right, good luck. Have a good sleep. I've never seen such a concentration of chickens. I... No, look, now I'm catching more girl chickens. I was just over there. Maybe, no, I was like, maybe this one? I mean, I, I don't know of any other method. Go! Oh. I'm not sure I'd be fast enough to like run up and boop them on the head, to be honest.
I genuinely thought he was going to go for it then. Caught the girl chicken, not the boy chicken. And look at him, he's looking at me now. But I don't, I, I have girls already. Go back! There's a lot of chickens. I cannot believe how many chickens there are here. It's a conspiracy of chickens. Yes, I've decided the collective noun for <clears throat> chickens is a conspiracy. Yeah, <laughs> I said it, guess. All right, I need food. 
Ow. Yeah, I guess we can eat that. Yeah. That's that's what I've decided. It's a conspiracy of chickens. Really? Because when we turned up, they were all clustered in one little spot looking like super sketch. And then as soon as we noticed them, they were like, scatter! There's a person around. If that doesn't sound like a conspiracy, then I don't know what does. Gotta go get some more fuel for my chicken hunting. <clears throat> okay, back my <clears throat> My throat is like super dry. I don't know what's going on. Also, I seem to have discovered a duping bug with these reed basket traps. I could make tea, but that would mean I'd have to get up. I do have one. If you leave them too long, then the chickens escape. <coughs>
Oh, did we get him? Did we get him? We got him! Alright. We got a rooster. We got a rooster. No time for clucking. I was like, chicken? Here, we're gonna label this. Lake chicken. And then next time I go there, I'm gonna be like, why did I label this lake chicken? Wait, is it midnight again? Heck. Look, how does this keep happening? Mind you, I did start late. I'm so pleased. that we got a boy chicken. My trees are all starting to grow up. Watch, there'll be a chicken right here. Oh wait, I'm going to the wrong place. I was about to release the rooster into my house. That would have been a decision. It would have been. And somehow out of all of that, my traps duped and now I have five where I started with two. I am, but I did just realize that it's a midnight and I'm hungry. So, uh, I guess we can do that. Oh, you didn't make, well, that's okay. Sometimes it takes more spoons than you have to join in chat. I understand that completely. I mean, I'm okay at the moment. I'm, I'm in no desire to, to rush off. Uh, 
here is a snooze. You got out of bed in eight. Good job. Uh, actually, you know what? I am going to be a good girl. I am going to snooze. Yes. All right. I am going to wrap up because it is late and I do have stuff that I need to do. Um, thank you for that reminder. What are we going to do? We, so I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I haven't decided. Um, so I will just, I will figure it out as we go. Why is everyone playing Elden Ring for the first time all of a sudden? I've noticed that lately. Like so many people are playing Elden Ring. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. Um. Gotcha. Oh, hey, Ravi's on. Cheese? No, it's not cheese. It's honeycombs. Let's go see Ravi. Yeah, let's go see Ravi. Oh, geez. Yeah. All right. We're going to go see Ravi. Um, I said I might be back on tomorrow. I, I, I plan to be on tomorrow afternoon, but I might not, depending on stuff. Thank you. Um, if I'm not on tomorrow, then I might not see you for a week or so, but I'll keep everyone posted on Discord. Um, so make sure uh, if you want to keep up to date with things, make sure you join us over there. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for keeping me company, and especially while I was hunting chickens. And uh, yeah. I said, I, I, I don't know. If we do stream tomorrow, it'll probably just be something really cruisy and, and uh, relaxy. Because, you know, today was really stressful. Okay, well, I'm going to get timed out. So, um, there, hey, I need to copy paste my message. Here's my message. Here's my message. I have it now. Okay. Good night, friends. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then some other time. Bye.